So in last week's episode you saw us taking over Bear Cave and that Centre 2 transfers had opened up. Now this episode starts as transfers have opened up to Centre 2 of items and whatnot, not just open transfers, you could tech things in. When this happens, everyone's part on the stuff from the main base, and it means when transfers open, there's a shitload of PvP coming your way, and mainly on certain base locations that are highly sought after. We had managed to secure one of them, so because people had previously failed to take it off us, they thought they'd come back prepared and see if they could wipe and take the location. Unfortunately for us, yet again, we were hit by one of the more secure and established tribes, Lunar Lifestyle. They were kind of yet again another one of the main guys that everyone feared and one of the larger class tribes on the server or, or maybe better skilled tribes I should call it and that's us now coming on underprepared, under manpowered, just defending and kind of logging on to a fairly decent fob for the stage of the game we were at. So what I'll do now is I'll let the video play out and you can kind of see our defense and see how things play out. But honestly, the way it played out, I just did not see it happening. It was ridiculous. And um, yeah, it was, I was happy that we, we cracked on, but yeah, it was a bit mental. Damn it, he's shooting me. He's flying over there and shooting me on the left side. Yeah, fucking Fabby for this shit. I got it. I'm frozen. You want me to bring more tech gens out? Um, the tech gen that we, me and you place, I'm gonna go put heavies up. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. Oh, that hurt. Why can't I lay on this fucking bed? No, I just got killed one. Putting this shit up. And I'm coming again. Alright, yeah. I'm going back to you to fight you. They've uh, gone off here. Hey, come and grab a stego. We're gonna try to soak. Have a cutter on you. Uh, Come in. I'm soaking, I'm soaking. They got me built in. It's in. Fuck yeah, bro. What are y'all doing it with? Rexes? There's a stuck on my body if you need it, Gana. Got your body, JC? No, I'm responding right now. I said I got your body. 
Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's kind of coming to late at night. I'd work again. This was always the thing. You know, it was a bit of a ball ache. A lot of guys were, you know, couldn't stay on dead late. So there was a couple so of guys far, that were going to uh, stay on the defend um, yeah. that weren't at work and could kind of put the step? hours in for the night yeah, shift. What yeah, happened here yeah, is we oh, kept yeah, pushing yeah, them, we wiped that, and yeah. then once we logged off, there yeah. was only two guys yeah, they, defending they, they their whole tribe fucking, all night. So you're talking right there, for like hard. another six, seven hours, because this footage is cut down, but it went on for hours and hours, a lot of boredom pushing back and forth. Uh, yeah. And they managed to somehow know, barely bro. survive, like, I don't know how they did it, but they've done a good job, because we just did yeah. not have the ammo set up yet. And, you know, they cracked on, they utilised the crouch point, they did get in and smash some of the wall, you know, grapple glitching, grapple glitching is an absolute pile of shit, I'm really not a fan of it. I know everyone loves it, but it shouldn't be a part of the game, like, it should be soak and skill pushes, right? I know you can say a grapple glitch and skill, but I think it's just a bit of shit. But somehow we managed to survive. We'd started resetting things up. Gotten on the morning for shit, we need to secure this before anyone else hits. And then before I know it, I'm getting pings again saying someone's on top of the base. While we were securing the front side, another tribe had came and started hitting us and had a massive fob outside on our skelly that we barely even built. I'm, uh, I'm not getting shot. They just put a turret down. I'm dead. One I'm dead. Down. Keep shooting One that mech. mech. Shoot his other mech. There's a second mech there. I got a minute and I got 160 seconds. So obviously we pushed them from different angles and we were kind of wore down from constantly getting raided. We were also raided and getting raided on the other map. It was just chaos. So we pushed them, we did what we could, and then yet again, it got to night time again. I've got to get off, got work, a few guys are staying on. Most of it had been destroyed, we like killed most of the shit, so we knew they were getting burnt out, they couldn't really push any further, and it was just kind of holding out again until you knew would kind of log off first or quit. Obviously, they decided to log off, but before they logged off, because they couldn't get through the entrance, they did put a ticket in about us, cry about a little, they started crying about the way we built the base and said it was against terms of condition or some shit obviously it wasn't the admins devs didn't do anything about it and they basically left and, and couldn't raid us and we just kind of cracked on but we did notice when they were raiding us there was a few other tribes so i think it was s plus kit collector or something like that and we noticed there was a few other tribes lurk and at some points we did feel like we got sniped but like teams are part of the game we had no proof really so we kind of ignored it disregarded it and then what we did is we replaced everything with spam rather than building our base back up we thought we'll prefab everything and then put it all up at once so this doesn't keep happening Yo, Leo, can we take down the uh tech puppy? it's almost half hp You can get me, sucker. Nice. Then we are back on the following day. I get pinged again, but this time 
another tribe is set up on us straight away because on this server you can't have multiple tribes hitting you at once, same on smalls, it's teaming. So we started getting hit by this other tribe who also had a fob but we pushed it further back because we had you know, gained control of the foundations on the floor and whatnot. But it turned out that these guys were actually allied and mates to the tribe that had hit us. So obviously they wanted to apply pressure and then no doubt the other tribe would come back and hit us again. So we were like, fuck this, at this point we were pissed, we were more organised, we had better tech rec saddles, we kind of knew what was coming and we had parted our shit over because originally we had nothing in the base. And this is us defending against the third tribe as you can see playing out in the video now. Shoot the pillar, shoot the pillar below. It's fine. Taking, I got 20 seconds and I gotta get out of this turret range. Need hey, you to I'll, get I'll, that I'll, out I'll, of here. He down to you. He flew down to you. You can't back in front of me, bro. Yeah. I got. No, I'm saying, uh, I'm saying I had 10 seconds and I gotta pull out and net my shit. Let me get it from the door. We're just coming, coming, we're stalking already, so just come to us. Oh, yeah. Gonna uh, increase the range, I think. Yep, there we go. Try to destroy the pillar if you can. Just a bit higher, really. Oh, you got it. I'm wondering if the heavy that's above, yeah, closest is out. Factor just killed one of them. Yep. Yeah, you're hitting him, keep it, yeah, keep you're it up. Hitting him. JC, where you at? Or am I hearing voices? I thought I was hearing it too. Good job. He said, he, he said to let us turn, uh, to let, give him time to le let him turn off his journey. Fuck off. There you are. You're doing a lot of damage. You're doing a lot of damage. Yeah, this thing yeah. has better HP than us, right? What? They're they're stego? Oh, there's Stego. I thought you mean in the wreck. I mean, we can. <laughs> what I'm saying is, we can just steal their Stego. No, we can steal the Stego. Keep hitting your brother. I'm back as far as I can go. Yeah, you're splash damaging the turrets as well. You're doing damage. Yeah. Definitely. Fuck yeah, bro. You take Rex is up here. here. JC. I'm getting like shot off. randomly by something. <laughs> I, I, I shot you by mistake, man. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I shot you once. I shot okay, you okay, once. Yeah, hey, you can drop all the way down here, bro. There we go, there we go. It's soaked. It's soaked. You can come down here and destroy all this. Behind the shield. No, no, Why? I think we can leave that. Uh, I think there's something that we can line aside with. We need it. We're not breaking chill. Hey, can, can we get church pushed up on this platform so they can't refob right here? Yeah, I have a match here. Oh, awesome. It's just floating. You gotta hear him take that force field down before he runs off. There we go. Oh, yeah. Bacon's like, fuck these stegos. This was nice. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not doing damage. You're, now you oh, damn, lose he's the He's got turrets all the way on the side, so watch it. There's tur He's got turrets placed on the side over here. I'm loving how they're trying to trash talk after they look. Okay, you need to start talking more. Hey, you're damaged, you're damaging, you know? You stop damaging. Now you're... Yeah. yeah. That yeah, one's being very consistent over there. Yeah. Soaked my heavy turret. Couple more hits. Not just yeah, a bit higher. Ripple, ripple. Yeah, yeah. There we go. You got it. 
Look, almost got it. What? I'm blocking you on the left side. So we've managed to know life the fuck out of it, sleep deprivation, getting on early, going to bed late, like being super calculated with everything we farm out and, you know, trying to work around us having less members than other people and being outnumbered. And we done fucking awesome in my honest opinion. I don't know how we didn't get wiped out of there because we definitely weren't. This wasn't as calculated as our other bases we didn't even really know if we wanted to keep because we were eyeing somewhere else and then we yeah we managed to do really well the team was bullshit i really didn't like that i didn't like how they merged in and we knew it was sketchy as fuck it was kind of annoying and other things had happened at the beginning when we originally got the cave with three tribes setting up on us but that is arc and you know you can either cry about it or just man up accept it and move on so what we decided to do rather than get our towers offline that were potentially out of orp we thought fuck it we will just just go mental and we will spam everywhere so when someone does fob us we actually have notice and we know what's going on before they've set up a full fob on us and that's kind of what you're seeing there we spam like crazy we progressed the internals of the bs got beefier our lines increased and then that kind of takes us into the next video when we decide right we're ready to start expanding more and getting a bigger presence on the server which meant we needed a third main base location that was better than both of our current base locations but that's for the next episode so i won't ramble on about that i also think when structures plus failed to raid us and every other tribe had been failing they got a bit salty i think he disgruntled the tribe by the looks of it not sure what went on but they ended up merging in and i think that was a good thing to do sometimes being on the offensive and aggressive all the time and not preparing can actually kill a tribe because you kind of push your players to the limit and then you don't succeed if you're going to start raiding everyone i think you really need to be prepared and one thing you should never do is underestimate your opponent because they're not gobshiting in world or they're not acting prominent and um, i think that is the biggest issue with people on arc as well they underestimate the opponent and they often fail for that reason hopefully you're enjoying the series drop a comment down below what do you think about arc's old classic style of pvp do you think arc survival ascended is going to be better being that it drops soon do you think arc survival ascended's got more potential or do you think it's going to be a flop and as always i appreciate you watching the videos and i'll catch you in the next one cheers